Hi! Good day everyone! For today's video tutorial, I will be sharing with you how to create quizzes using quizzes. But before that, let's take a look first what is quizzes and its features. Quizzes is a free tool. It works on any devices, web browsers, iOS, Androids, and Chrome applications. You can access hundreds of ready-made learning quizzes or you can create your own. It also allows you to conduct a student-based formative assessments in a fun and engaging way for a student of all ages. You can also download the app on Google Play Store for free or visit their websites at quizzes.com. Today, using our mobile devices, I will show you how to create quiz on quizzes. Without further ado, let's get started. First, go to any browser and search quizzes.com and you will be redirected to their websites. So, we have here two tabs. On the upper right corner, it says enter a code and sign up. Meron din get started and login button if you already have existing quizzes account. So, let's click sign up. You can sign up using your personal email. Microsoft account or your school email. Here, I will use my personal account to sign up. After nating makasign up, meron tayong three options. Meron at a school, at a business, and personal use. Click the at a school and then choose whether you are a student, teacher, or here we will click teacher and it will redirect us to Quizzes homepage. This is the interface of Quizzes sa ating mobile phone. This button is the profile or home button. Makikita natin dito ang create, explore, my library, reports, classes, settings, memes, collections, profile, and logout. If we are going to pick a quiz naman, search lang natin dito sa search bar yung topic for example, let's try uh, digital safety and security. So here are the different quizzes related to the topic. Meron din dito ang lesson which is new feature of quizzes wherein the quizzes can be converted to PowerPoint or lesson. If we open a certain quiz, we will see the questions and its answer. The choices which has green dots are the correct answer. So, you can also save, share, and copy or edit the search quest, question or quiz and integrate it on your own quiz. If we are going to create our own quiz, click the profile button and create. And then, ilagay natin yung name ng quiz natin and select relevant subject related to our topic and click Next. After clicking next, may magpapakita na different buttons para sa ating choices. So we have here multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blank, a poll, open ended, and slide. This slide is where you can convert your quiz into PowerPoint presentation. Also, we have here teleport questions. We can add questions from our library or from the quizzes uploaded by others on the quizzes. Now, so we will choose multiple choice for our quiz. So, ganito ang magpapakita after we choose multiple choice. And let's write our question here sa question bar. For example, this is our question. So, sa baba ng question, we can add the choices. Always remember to click the check button on the side of the correct answer on the choices. So you can also add images, mathematical equations, audio and video on both question and on the choices. You can also add explanation to the correct answer or you can add previous. It has also a timer sa pagsagot ng tanong so you can choose time ang allotted sa bawat questions. You can set it for a second to minute and then when you already 
already set the time allotted, you can now click Save. So here is our question. If you want to add more questions naman, just click lang natin ito new questions and then we can include our next questions na. So we can also use the teleport question na sinasabi ko kanina. So let's search related questions about our topic and then may mga questions na you can choose from na pwede mo i-add sa ito yung sarili ginawang quiz and then it will be added automatically sa ito quiz. So, if we are already finished on 18 hour quiz, we can publish it na. I-click lang natin ito publish button dito sa taas and then we can change or add display photo of the quiz. We can also select the language, the grade that are appropriate for our quiz. We can also choose, we can see our quiz and then after you change the setting, you can save your quiz. So, this is what it will look like on your device after you publish and you save your quiz. So, it can be seen by everyone na na nasa quizzes. You can also share it with your class using the link uh, so, when you start a live quiz to your student, after sending them the link, you have choices here. If it is a classic or instructor-based quiz. So, here we will choose classic and we will choose whether the quiz is for team, classic, or test. So, since it is a practice quiz, students, let's choose classic. So, after clicking classic, this is what it like or you can send your quiz link or code to your class through email google classroom and so on so here you can see the total number of students who already joined the quiz so if they are already completed you can start the quiz and this is what it will look like when the quiz started So after they finish the quiz, here you can see the quiz highlights and the results of the quiz. You can also send mail to the students of the result on their quiz and you can also download the result of the quiz and it shows us this when downloaded. So that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot from our video tutorial.